talk to you using local tech, and believe you me, I'll need to keep in touch because, sorry about this, you're the only one who can help me save the universe. And oh yeah, I'm the Doctor. I'm sure you're the...
radio on the workbench. I can get through to you easier if it's out in the open. Thanks. Look, that door won't hold the hot box for long. We've got to get you out of there as fast as we can. So, you've got to knock up a nifty little device that'll help. Welcome aboard. Come in then. Make yourself at home. Wish I had time to give you a guided tour, but we're up against it. We can't get distracted. So, here's the skinny. Do people still say here's the skinny? What actually is the skinny? Never understood it, to be honest with you. I mean, sorry, easily distracted. Big picture. I'm marooned at the end of time and space. I have to cobble together a vortex manipulator to get back to where I should be. That way, I can deal with the reality virus and whoever created it. I need three pieces of Zyton to power the manipulator through the time vortex. Getting the Zyton is where you come in. And if you want a reminder of what's at stake, take a look behind you. That's what's at stake. Your world and countless others. So you've got to find those three pieces of Zyton. And let's get one thing absolutely straight. One very important thing. We are so calling them time crystals from now on, because that sounds way cooler. The hologram's going to be patchy from now on. I'm guessing it's the reality virus messing with the visuals. OK, get back to the console, and I'll tell you what needs to be done. The TARDIS has switched to autopilot mode. Don't take it personally, just doesn't know you yet. But there's some stuff autopilot doesn't cover. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. That panel you can see is your interface with the TARDIS. Step up to it and I'll guide you through what you need to do. Ready? Okay, as 
as a wise man once said. Allons-y!
I'm detecting another glitch, and I think something's trying to get through. Thank you. 
I'm over here. Over here. You're looking right at me. It's me. Emma. Help me. Help me! And I'm back in the room. The minute you entered the flight deck, the ship's systems reverted to normal. Like taking your phone off airplane mode, meaning I can contact you through local tech. But Emma, I am sorry. I am so sorry. You were originally the Lucia Miner's emergency life support system, designed to protect the ship's crew. When the Slicers took over the craft and killed them, you couldn't accept that loss. You adopted the characteristics of a crew member, probably your favourite. And over the years, you've come to fully believe in the construct you created. But Emma, I recognize you as an emergent new life form and promise to transfer you to a more appropriate system. In other words, I will get you out of there. Oh, I failed to protect the original crew of this ship, but I will not lose you or your friend. My friend. Here's what I've learned from the ship's computers. The Slicers feed on attention, and without it, they devolve into Tasmans, mute, feral hunters banished from the Zleister community. They killed most of the ship's original crew. But now power's been restored. They've set a course to power bomb a sun. The ship's drive unit will cause a supernova, and dozens of planets will be obliterated. The Zleisters plan on getting away using escape capsules. Of course. The Zleisters know the Shadow Proclamation will hold them accountable. But they'll reckon being put on trial for genocide will give them all the attention they crave. Emma, I need you to change the ship's flight plan and unlock the time crystal we came here for. Can you help? Oh, the Slicers have locked me out of the system. Oh, but there's a manual override. Right then, my human friend. You're up. We need to put Emma in the driving seat. So you've got to override those three control terminals. Charge them with the Sonic. Brill, keep going. Brilliant. I can access the time crystal and eject it from the unit. I've managed to transmit the TARDIS into the main body of the ship. Go to it, now! Save yourself. There's no time to rescue me. But I've managed to change the Lucia Minus course. She'll crash into the deserted planet, destroying the Slicers and me. Now go! Wow, I thought I had first dibs on dramatic entrances. Well, grab it then. Before you go, quickly, Sonic the emergency life support system. The panel with the flashing lights. Quickly! Well done you! You've got us the first time, Crystal. We just need two more, then I can escape and save the universe from the reality virus. Sounds easy when you say it quickly, doesn't it? But you know what? You managed to get something else very important. When you zapped the controls, you downloaded Emma into the sonic screwdriver. I offered the Slicers the same chance of escape, but they chose to go out in a blaze of... Well, you can't really call it glory. Okay. We've got a second time crystal to get our mitts on. When you're on Lucia Minor, Medipods implanted a nano translator into your brain. You won't have felt a thing, and they're harmless. The TARDIS is going to transmit Emma's thoughts into the translator, so you'll be able to hear her wherever you are. All the knowledge she extracted from the ship's data banks is now in her memory. I reckon you and Emma are going to make a great team. At least I hope so. If you don't, it's end of the world time, so no pressure then. I know this probably feels weird, me, 
talking to you like this via the nano translator in your brain. I can talk to you, offer advice, process readings and data and stuff like that, but I can't help you in any physical sense. Soz. Activate the TARDIS when you're ready. crystal is. Oh, you know what? I think it's in the time cabinet of the late but unlamented Magnus Greel, which makes my spidey senses start to tingle big time. Let's take a closer look where we are. I can't guide you this time. I've got too much to do back here, but Emma will help you. Like I said, the TARDIS is going to patch her directly through to you. She should be able to track the time crystal, so get out there, find it, bring it back, and don't hang about. Evil and me go way back, and I can't put my finger on it, but somewhere out there, evil is waiting. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 